panel on uh, photo film. I'm very thankful for this great audience who still is here, patient with us, waiting till we had some electricity. Um, I'm Magdalena Kaltenberger, I'm German, and my Arabic is a little bit poor, so this is why the talk will be in English, and this will most of the films we are going to show um, will be in English too. So. Um, I'm very happy to have some of my students here. I'm like a lecturer at the German University. I teach their film and video and editing. And my background is more experimental films, documentary, video art. I did lots of projects in between film and photography. So that will be the basis of this panel. And I have like some of my uh, valued students here. So we will see like some parts of, um, not we will see the whole short films they did. And then I'm back as an introduction, I want to introduce you to like Chris Marker. Like the, the idea was like we had a, a course at a GUC montage that was called an homage to. Like the students, they had to do a presentation on a director, um, check out his cinematic techniques, what is his style of telling a story. And one of them was like Chris Marker. And Chris Marker got um, most famous with his photo films. Like one is La Chete, he did it in uh, 62. And yeah, that's the one where we're gonna watch like uh, the first 10 minutes. So you have a little bit I an idea what it is. What I found very interesting, it's like the relationship of film and photography and um, the movie um, La Chete, it won a prize in uh, um, 62 and it tells the story of a post-nuclear war experiment in time travel by using a series of film photographs developed as a monta photo montage of varying pace with limited narration and sound effect. And this film was like the basis for the short film that um, our Mohamed Abu Wafa and Rana al Hari and Ali Harris um, had as a basis and they did a very beautiful short film that we will watch afterwards. And then we will have like a, a discussion on like their influences, talk about how they experience watching these films, how it influenced their work. The next thing will be, I'm very happy to have Sarah Salam here. She's currently working on a photo film and she will tell us a little bit about her background and work in progress. And last but not least, we have three other Filmmaker, media, design students, Saif, Kala, the math, um, Amira, and Fouad here, who did a very beautiful film on uh, the homage to Nadine Labaki. And there, the, our panel will switch more on influences, and we will watch their movie too. So, yeah, let's start, and I hope you enjoy.
violent scene which upset him and whose meaning he was to grasp only years later happened on the main pier at Orly, Paris Airport, sometime before the outbreak of World War III. Orly, Sunday. There, the parents used to take their children to watch the departing planes. Of this particular Sunday, the child whose story we are going to tell was bound to remember the sight of a frozen sun, of a stage setting at the end of the pier, and of a woman's face. Nothing tells memories from ordinary moments. Only afterwards do they claim remembrance on account of their scars. That face, which was to be a unique image of peacetime to carry with him through the whole wartime, he often wondered if he had ever seen it, or if he had dreamed a lovely moment to catch up with a crazy moment that came next, a sudden roar of the woman's gesture, the fall of a body, shrieking people. Only later did he realize that he had seen a man die. And soon afterwards, Paris was blown up. Right. 
died. He had heard about the head experimentator and was prepared to face the mad scientist, a Dr. Frankenstein. Instead of whom he met a reasonable man who told him in a relaxed way that the human race was doomed. Space was off limits. The only link with survival passed through time. A loophole in time that maybe it would be possible to reach food, medicine, energy. This was the purpose of the experiment, to throw emissaries into time to call past and future to the rescue of the present. But the human mind balked. To wake up in another time meant to be born again as an adult. The shock would be too much. Having sent only lifeless or unconscious bodies through different